Hey everybody, Charles Stepanek here. Welcome back to the channel and to Beyond the Notes where today we are talking about pre-show routines. I'm gonna tell you a story about my personal favorite way to go about prepping, getting psyched, getting pumped, to take the stage and perform in front of a group of people. And I hope that you can find some inspiration in this story as you search for your own perfect pre-show routine, as you search for that way to get pumped and excited to take the stage. So stick around. No matter who you are or what you do or what stage of life you're in, if you've ever regularly had to get up in front of a group of people and do something, whether that's give a presentation, run a meeting, have a discussion, give a report, play music, sing. Even if you've only done it once or just a couple times, if you've had to go through that process of getting up in front of people, you have probably started to develop or developed a way to help make yourself more comfortable or some kind of routine to go through before you get up and do this thing that's important. We most often see professional athletes do things like warm up. My favorite sport is baseball. So when you watch a baseball game or you go to a baseball game, you're gonna see people taking hitting practice, pitchers warming up, fielders playing catch, and of course, stretching, right? All those things are going to come together and help those players get ready to play a game that's gonna last a few hours and that's gonna be televised for millions of people, right? Something that they might be a little bit nervous about. But even if you're not a professional athlete or an athlete at all, let's say you're currently in school or think back to a time when you were in school and you had to get up in front of class and give a report, maybe a book report. Before you got up in front of class and gave that, you probably did something to help yourself prepare. Whether that was as simple as going through what you were gonna say in your head beforehand, to having flashcards to give a presentation, flashcards that you can refer to. If you've been a manager or a corporate leader, you've probably had meetings or important things to discuss, maybe with very important other co-leaders in the company, and you've probably had some kind of method of going and getting ready to give such important presentations. And being a musician is no different. It's really no different. But today I wanna to talk about something that might be a little different than you're expecting because we can warm up, of course. We can play scales and we can play arpeggios. We can do all of that stuff. We can go through the pieces that we're going to be playing or singing or somehow performing in front of others. We can go through those technical things to help us get prepped. But what if there's something that you can do that can emotionally ground you? Because I think anytime we get up and perform in front of people, it's a very stressful thing. That's a normal way of reacting to having to perform. It's very, very stressful. Anybody that tells you as a musician that they don't get nervous before they go out and they have to perform is one, they're, they're either totally lying to you about it because they're afraid to tell you that they're nervous, or they might be one of a tiny, tiny percent of people that actually don't have stage fright or some kind of anxiety about being in front of people. I can remember one person that I've ever met in my entire life. I probably know a couple thousand musicians. One of them doesn't get stage fright. And that's pretty amazing for that person, but that's far less than 1%. So I think all of us can know and just take comfort in the fact that Getting nervous is just a part of being a musician. It's a part of life. It's a part of life for anybody that has to do anything in front of people. For me, every performance that I have given since the time I was 16, there was one song in particular that I play before I leave the green room, before I leave the rehearsal space, before I walk out on stage in front of people. There's always one song in particular that I play. If you watch the vlog and you've seen episodes before, you know that I usually tie these into my latest music release and today is no different. Elton John's Your Song holds a super special place in my heart and it is the song that I look to no matter what else I'm playing or performing that day. That is the last thing that I play and even sometimes sing before I walk out on stage in front of people. This story actually starts back when I was 15. I was a part of my high school's variety show that year and for the first time in my life, I played and sang in front of a group of people. And it wasn't just any group of people, it was two sold out nights for 350 people each night. Not only was it my first time singing in a show, but I think it was the first time anybody, anybody had heard me sing. So there was a lot of firsts happening that night, but it wasn't my first time performing. I had done a lot of performing like on teacher's recitals and things like that. A lot of us, if you've taken music lessons with a teacher or you have kids that do, you know that you get up and you play a piece or two along with 
all of the other students that the teacher has, or maybe there's a couple teachers that share a recital program and you get up and do something like that. But this was totally different. Maybe it was that difference that helped me see this, but something very special happened over those two nights that I performed your song on this variety show. I learned that in a completely dark auditorium with a single spotlight on me and on the piano, playing and singing my favorite pop music of all time, all of my nervousness and anxiety about performance, it all went away. And it wasn't like this was an easy performance. This was by far the most number of people I'd ever performed for. So there was something else magical happening. And it was those combination of things that for me helped all of the rest of the anxiety just fade into nothing. And I was super calm in that performance. They were two really magical nights just getting to share music with people and not be nervous about it at all. Those two nights impacted me so much that from that point on, before every performance I gave, I would play and if possible, I would sing at least a couple verses of your song before I would walk out on stage. And I'm talking about everything from my recital. I gave a full length recital the next year. It was my first one of those. After that, I went and took college auditions and Beyond that, playing for juries in college or degree recitals, and beyond that, doing professional type performance, whether that was competing at a professional level or touring later on. Without fail, every time that I have given a performance, I go back and I take a brief moment and relive that night on stage where there was just no nervousness, no anxiety, no stress. And it really helps to calm me and center me and get me emotionally ready to go out and do something that maybe I am a little nervous about. Maybe it's the first time I'm playing this music in front of people, or maybe there's just something else. Maybe it's a really important concert. But no matter where the stress is coming from, I like to go back and recenter myself using that piece of music. I hope that story can inspire you in a way to maybe stop thinking about the technical ways that we might get ready to be in front of a group of people. And if you're a musician, especially the things like playing scales, playing, going through your most difficult passages that you have to do, that you're gonna have to perform before you walk out, playing arpeggios, doing other finger exercises or whatever, those are all great. And don't get me wrong, those are also part of my pre-show routine. But I think the most important part for me is that emotional centeredness that comes from this one particular thing that I've discovered. And no matter what I'm doing, it doesn't have anything to do, playing your song doesn't have anything to do with whatever else is going on that concert. But I always be sure that I revisit that experience where there was just total calm, magic happening on stage between me and the people listening and just how awesome that was. So I'd encourage you to think about, do you have experiences like that? or? Are there other things that you can think about that aren't so technical, that maybe aren't about the music you're going to present? Or if you're not presenting music, are there other things that you can think about that just help put you in that place where you know that no matter what happens, you're going to be successful. This is gonna be a great time. You're gonna teach people maybe, you're gonna perform for people, you're gonna give people a great experience, an enjoyable night, whatever that is. I'd encourage you to think about what other ways are there other than those technical ones to help us get ready and especially the emotional part of it. What else can we do to help us get centered and do the best we possibly can? It was a lot of fun to arrange your song in a very different way than I have grown used to playing it for the last 20 or so years. It's in kind of a gospel style and I hope you like that. And as a little beyond the notes treat for you, I have re-recorded part of it and added some vocals for you. So this is gonna be my premiere singing on YouTube, and it's just for those of you that have watched so far in the video. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me know in the comments what your pre-show routines are, what you've started doing, what you found that works for you in a variety of different ways. I'd love to hear from you. So until next time, I hope you enjoy this. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those Who can easily hide Don't have much money But boy if I did 
I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor <laughs> But then again, no Or a man who makes potions in a a traveling show Oh, I know it's not much But it's the best I can do My gift is my song And this one's for you And you can tell everybody This is your song it may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is for your in the your